Leaving the scene of an accident is against the law in every state. Outside Denver, a driver elected to ignore that law. Okay, we're on scene of a rollover accident. There you can see where the car lost control coming around this corner. And first sign that it was rolling over is right here, these scuff marks on the roadway. Looks like it's down here on the other side of the fire truck. We'll go down and see what's going on with it. Looks like it's traveled quite a distance. We got all the shattered glass and everything right up here. I can see him loading one party into the stretcher for the ambulance. What's your name? What's your name? You guys got anything on it? No, we don't have a thing on it. Okay. Okay, right now we're not sure if this was the driver of the vehicle or not. He's extremely intoxicated. Uh, they're riding with him. Uh, he's combative with the ambulance crew. According to somebody around here told the deputy that two people in the party, in the vehicle, and uh, one party fled on foot. So we're going to have to go a little further in an investigation to determine if he's the driver or not. Oh, we got, we got a witness. Stacy came around the corner, high rate of speed, 70 or so. Into the bike lane, lost control flipped over and slid down there where he is on his top. Yeah. Two parties in it. Well, possibly two parties in it. Uh, when they got back here after calling 911, this was the only one left. And they don't know if he's a driver or not. Hi, ladies. Hi. You saw the accident? We didn't see the accident. Um, they were already rolled over by the time I ran down to the, to the Bronco or whatever that is. We were telling him just to stay there, you know, don't move or anything. He says, huh. he says I was asleep. He says, what happened? So he, he was totally, okay. I think he was passed out. Or... Which one said he was asleep? The one that went the to the hospital? Right. Uh -huh. Okay, did the other one say anything? Um, he came out and he kept saying, um, he says, I gotta go, I gotta go. He was scared. He just took off. You can be sure that the cause of this accident revolves around this right here. This is an accident which easily could result in death or serious injury. These guys are probably going to be lucky this time. How you doing? Why don't you tell me what's going on? Well, I was just coming from my house, and I was supposed to meet my girlfriend over here. How would you get the cut on your hand? Oh, I was just walking. Well, that's from work. That's from work? Yeah, I just got off work. This deputy right here did a real good job. He saw this party standing over here on the corner, kind of looking up at towards the scene of the accident. He started to contact the party across the street and started going up here to this house, said he knew somebody at the house and uh, was on the way to meet them. Don't know anybody by the name of Derek or Karen. Uh, his story isn't holding water. He's not telling you the truth or telling us the truth. Trooper Iker went back up to the house where the witnesses were and brought the witnesses back by. They identified this as being the driver of the vehicle that rolled over. He's extremely intoxicated. He's denying the whole incident. You're under arrest. For what? The investigation of driving under the influence of alcohol and leaving the scene of an accident. I wasn't driving at okay. all. Well, we just had a witness come by and identify you as the driver of that vehicle that just rolled over. Who was the witness? Who was who, who is the witness? Okay, settle down, okay? Who is the You'll be able to find out in court when you go to court. I know, but I'm just saying, you know, I was coming to my girlfriend's house. Okay. You kind of left your buddy hanging out up there, you know? Where? Be back with you in a minute, okay? <laughs> 